back. Well, it's almost time for a new year, and if one of your new year resolutions involves budgeting and saving money, you'll want to pay attention to all of those subscriptions that can, you know, sometimes sneak up onto your bank account. As Kate Terry's Chicken Davis reports, experts advise evaluating how much those monthly subscriptions cost before the end of the year. A survey by Forbes found 83% of consumers don't pay attention to their monthly subscriptions. You forget about that $2 or $3 subscription and it just keeps accumulating over and over again. A 2022 analysis by CNR Research shows consumers underestimated their spending on subscriptions by $133, which is two and a half times more than their original estimate. So instead of spending the amount of $86 a month, the actual amount spent was a little over $200. For the majority of Americans, especially the majority of Deep East Texans, um, $200 could be a pretty good amount. According to Legacy Institute for Financial Education, Executive Director and Financial Coach Joseph Caesar, the most popular subscriptions are Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime. Some people can keep up with it, and some people actually use the items, which if that is the case, then it's less of an issue. Um, but if you don't use the service and it's continuing to charge you, um, go ahead and cancel it. A Forbes survey found 90% of people subscribe to streaming services, 72% to delivery apps, and 60% to music services. The main thing is that a budget needs to be maintained and it needs to be managed on a monthly basis. As subscription service increase, Caesar suggests using subscription tracking programs. There are programs uh, that banks have. There's um, third-party providers like Self. Um, that can help you save money and build your credit at the same time. Shakina Davis, KTRE, East Texas News 9. Definitely some good tips. Now, for more financial advice, you can visit the Legacy Institute for Financial Education, a grant-funded nonprofit free to the community. You can find a link to their website in the Big Red Box section or by scanning the QR